Foul play wins. <clears throat> if you're playing your opponents for money, foul plays. If you're serious about winning a lot of money, foul plays must be done. Okay. So let I'll give you a scenario. You need a ten to make a straight. Ten is in the other side of the table. So what you do is you search how many twos have been played. Or, you know, how many kings have been played, you know, I want to check my straights. Okay. So what you do, you have your 10 in sight. Get your cards. Look at your opponents. Make sure no one's looking. And you do a deceive pickup. Number one is deceive pickup. Now you have your straight. Okay. And then you win. Next thing is... Deceive play. So I'll set it up for you. You're playing with your friends and they're playing straights. Right? And you have an extra card. So someone plays five, six, seven. You play ten jack queen. Your opponent plays, you know, ace, king, queen. But did you see that? This is called Deceive Play. The 4 hides behind a higher card. You can do this with a double or you can do it with anything with a lot of numbers or even minimum numbers like this. As long as you have the card behind when you are playing, they will not know because all they see is this. Okay? As long as it doesn't splat out like this, you know, that's what you want to try to avoid you will always be fine. You know, when does this situation ever come in handy, you might ask. Well, let's say it's like this. You know, you're, so you're playing a round of, you know, it's a late round of the game. They're playing, you know, uh, straights right now. So you play a straight and your opponents counter you with a higher straight and they play singles, right? Let's say it's a jack. Now, you know, they're not, all the low cards haven't, uh, they got rid of all their low cards early in the game. Now you're stuck with this. But if you have gotten rid of it early, you just play an ace and you win. Okay? So let's say you played the ace and you still had the four because you didn't want to be a foul player. Now you lose. Guaranteed. Unless, you know, you get a free ride from the next person. Okay. So the last thing that I'm going to be teaching you in foul play is organization, which I like to call stacker. So let's say you're playing one-on-one, -on -one, right? You know there's a two of hearts on the top, and you shuffle, As you're shuffling, you look at the bottom of the card, bottom of the deck, and you see you have a two in sight. So it's under five and six. And you bring it up. And as you're bringing it up, when you're shuffling, stretch out the cards. So this is six, this is five, and this is two. So you don't wanna, so let's say you're doing this, right? It's five cards. You give yourself one first, you give your opponent the next card, you give the two to yourself, and you give your opponent a five. Can I give myself a six? Okay, that's how uh, this stacker works. As long as you are aware of where the cards are in your deck. So let's say, you know, you, you played out a game and you know, two's been played and all that kind of stuff. Now, where's two of hearts? Is it this one? Let's say, you know, let's say this is two of hearts for this example, okay? And you put it next to an ace, and then you play, you're playing, and your, your goal objective is to get the two of hearts, right? And then when you shuffle, when you play it out, you know, this side of the deck, the top side of the deck, has a two of hearts somewhere. You know, anywhere, somewhere, it has a two of hearts. And you look at it, 
and you have the two of hearts if you don't have the two of hearts you definitely know your opponent has the two of hearts okay so another thing let's say you you have a good general idea of where the two of hearts is located so we're gonna say you know for this example say you generally know it's right here right when you're when you pick up the cards when you're putting it on top you know it's going to be right around that area and you're shuffling and you want the two of hearts so what you're going to do is you're going to deal five by five right and then you're going to pick up your cards and then boom there's a two of hearts because you dealt five by five right you didn't deal one by one and hopefully it's there you know you're gonna take the chance that maybe you don't have it and you look you don't have the two of hearts but you have the two of diamonds all right that's cool but it's still lower than the two of hearts okay so that's a three deceiving play that i can teach you that if you master you will always be able to win Thank you so much for watching my video. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions for future video, please leave it in the comment section below. Thank you.